Hello there. So, uh, we got a bunch of new subscribers on the channel, and I'm very happy about that. Welcome to my... Whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> and, uh, I, I saw a few people. So, uh, basically, as a catch-up, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, there was, um... There was a guy on Twitter who had a hilariously awful take on uh, emulation and uh, all that kind of thing. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to drop a link to one of my videos on there that uh, shows people how to get Dolphin running. Right. And a lot of people really liked it, a lot of people subscribed. If you're one of those people, I greatly appreciate you being here, genuinely. But I did see some people in the comments of that one tweet and in other videos talking about uh, what other emulators exist. Like what if you wanted to play something on the PS3? Or what if you wanted to do something on iOS? Well, <laughs> can't really answer the iOS question because I don't have a Mac and I don't use any Apple products for very specific reasons. But what I can do is I can go over uh, the emulators that I use for different consoles. And you can see all of them right here. These are all of the emulators that I have used before and have personal experience with. Uh, and I'll go over um, strengths and weaknesses and uh, alternatives, if there are any, because in the case of something like Citra or RPCS3, there really aren't any alternatives. Um, but if you wanted an alternative to Project 64, I don't know why you would. There is one, and I'll go over that in a bit. Look, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real. If I was gonna start this video off with any emulator, it had to be Dolphin because this is the one that I know the most about. This is the one that I have the most experience with. So of course I'm going to start off this video with uh, Dolphin. If, if this is gonna be a really short showcase, if you really wanna know more about Dolphin, I have a video up already on my channel and I talked about it very heavily in the uh, emulators or special video. So if you're, if you just want something right now to play some fun and amazing games, Dolphin is your best bet. There will be a link to all of the emulators I talk about in the description below, and you can just, you know, fucking do whichever, whatever you want with this information. Anyway, moving on. Now, I've made videos in the past kind of dogging on the N64, uh, just because there's a few things that I'm not a huge fan of in how it was developed, how the games have aged, its fucking controller, you know, all kinds of things. However, this was the first game console I ever played, so of course I'm going to have a strong emotional connection to some of these games. Um, and the best N64 emulator that I've used personally is Project 64. Uh, I have a little bit of um, experience with a different N64 emulator called Moopin, and we'll get into that later. Um, but this is the one that has served me the best. I do have problems with it because Project 64 is just kind of weird in that it doesn't it doesn't register some controllers and some of the options are kind of weird but it's very powerful and lets developers do a whole lot with it um if you really want some extra material to research research uh the um majora's mask uh hd 64 like it, it's by a guy named called narrow i've been following his stuff for a long time i'll have a link to that underneath the project 64 uh, project so you know you'll have access to that but if you do want an, a good n64 emulator project 64 is going to be your best bet in my opinion uh, but there are others out there that you can always try all right so here's the other big one to me uh citra citra is a 3ds emulator and quite a powerful one uh i'll be honest however it is basically the only one of its kind kind of like there really aren't I don't think there are any other 3DS emulators out there. Uh, the main thing that I use this for is obviously Monster Hunter because I played so much Monster Hunter 4 on 3DS that, oh God, I put so much time into this one. And this, I use this emulator for my uh, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate series on my channel. And this is gonna be your most trustworthy emulator for anything uh, 3DS related. Um, the only game that I've really played on this uh, emulator is Monster Hunter 4. I put a little bit of time into Ocarina of Time 3D, and that worked really, really well. And I know that there are a lot of really cool things you can do with those games, like for Majora's Mask, you can uh, mod it to play exactly like the N64 original, but with the uh, 
enhanced 3DS uh, graphics and enhanced textures and all that stuff. Like here on Monster Hunter 4, I have enhanced textures going right now. And it still looks pretty good, honestly. It's a little poly, but like fucking whatever. Who cares? Who, who gives a shit? It still looks great, honestly. But if you really want to play 3DS games and you have a semi-powerful computer, uh, Citra is your best bet. Uh, however, Citra is kind of iffy on game compatibility. Some games just kind of aren't compatible right now, and it's just one of those weird things that you just need to wait for compatibility to get better. So, hey, whatever. Recommend Citra highly. All right, now we're getting into the deep shit. So, I am not, uh, I have never played the yeah. PlayStation 2. Or I have, but I, I've never owned one. Uh, it was just one of those consoles that I never really played, honestly. Uh, however, there are some games that I've played on PS2 and have since fallen in love with, like God Hand, obviously. However, God Hand is an exceedingly rare game, so getting a real copy of it kinda is not uh, feasible. Oh god, I have to remember how to play God Hand. Oh fuck. Uh, <laughs> it's just. Uh, fuck. Uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and pause so I can actually talk. I've played a few PS2 games. Uh, the only ones that I really played on this emulator are uh, Shadow of the Colossus and God Hand, obviously. Uh, but it is a good emulator, honestly. It works really well. Uh, I haven't been noticing any uh, runtime errors. I haven't been noticing anything wrong with the actual emulator itself. Uh, it's a little bit obtuse with its settings. Uh, it took me a second to actually figure out how to make the window not full screen so I can put it here on my second monitor so I can record it for you. But, you know, you you don't really need to um, have a lot of fussing when it comes to this one relative to other emulators that I've used. PCSX2 is the best PS2 emulator in my opinion. Uh, I'm unaware of any alternatives. Uh, from my sources that I have looked up, there don't seem to be any, but very good uh, emulator. The only thing that I have to specify is that you need PlayStation 2 BIOS files. And the only way to get those is to uh, take them off of your legitimate PlayStation 2 that you obviously own, right? I mean, there's no other way to go about it, so you're gonna have to take them off that uh, PS2 that you uh, have sitting next to you on your computer desk. So just be mindful of that when you're uh, getting into PS2 emulation, if that's one of the games that you want to, if that's one of the consoles you want to uh, play. So sticking with the trend of the PlayStation family of consoles, uh, we're gonna move on to the PlayStation 3 emulator, RPCS3. Uh, it's pretty good and pretty powerful, honestly. And I'm gonna be real, this is gonna be the only way to enjoy PlayStation 3 exclusive games in the future, considering that the PlayStation 3 uh, store is going down, and eventually the PlayStation 3 is just not gonna be able to work because of weird limitations with the PlayStation 3's internal clock and not being able to validate games. It's nonsense. But if you are in the mood to play some PlayStation 3 games, and you might have, I don't know, sold your PlayStation 3, or you just don't have it anymore, or you're looking to play some of the games that you've never played before but are very interesting, like Demon Souls, RPCS3 is your best bet. Um, there are not any there aren't any alternatives for PlayStation 3 emulation. However, I can say safely that this is uh, the best experience I've had with this console to date. I've played a few games on PlayStation 3 using this emulator, uh, mainly the ones that I just didn't have access to because I never owned a PlayStation 3. I played 3D.Game Heroes. I played a little bit of Ashura's Wrath, and that ran flawlessly with up-res textures, mind you, running at fucking 1440p. Holy shit. <laughs> Demon Souls obviously runs fucking beautifully on this. The only thing is that there's no online features. However, you can make those work. So, like if you're looking at the Demon Souls remake on PlayStation 5 and you're not really driving with how it looks or you don't want to spend all that money and time getting a fucking PlayStation 5 just for one game, if you have a decently powerful rig, RPCS3 is your best bet. All right, now we're moving on to Game Boy Advance emulation. Uh, the one that I have personal experience with is Visual Boy Advance. Uh, it's pretty good, honestly. I've used it to play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga and a few Pokemon games here and there. I've played Pokemon Randomizers on this emulator. I've done a bunch of stuff. Uh, I know for a fact that you can alternatively use MGBA, and 
I've never used it before. <laughs> so I, I have no idea how that one works, but I can tell you that if you're looking for a uh, good, reliable Game Boy Advance emulator, Visual Boy Advance is gonna be your best bet, uh, at least in my opinion. And it works really, really well, and you can do a whole lot of fun stuff with uh, all this stuff that's going on. Now here's a strange one, uh, PlayStation Portable emulator. <laughs> I have never played a PlayStation Portable in my life and honestly have no real reason to. There aren't really a whole lot of games on the PlayStation Portable that I really want to play, with the exception of Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. And I've played a little bit of Freedom Unite. Obviously, I haven't gotten very far because I'm still in the default starting gear. However, it's running and it runs pretty well and the controls work just fine, honestly. Uh, Honestly, I'd really only recommend this emulator if you want to play Monster Hunter or you have a lot of nostalgia for the for the PSP, you know? I mean, I'm not going to judge you for that. Uh, to my knowledge, there are no alternatives for PlayStation Portable Emulation, um, but if you're looking for this console to do, uh, PPSSPP is going to be a good one for you. So now we're gonna get into some uh, some of the more weird emulators that I've got in my library. Uh, the really the only one that I can think of that is the weirdest one would be Bizhawk. Now Bizhawk is an interesting one. It's a multifaceted emulator. It allows you to emulate many many different consoles. Uh, I use it anywhere from uh, NES to PlayStation One. It's honestly pretty good at what it does. Now, the reason why I think this one is a weird one is because, uh, what's it called? It was primarily built for use in speedrun competitions. There we go. <laughs> it was primarily used uh, for use in uh, speedrun competitions. So, uh, speedrunners like to use this emulator a lot, from what I hear, if you are using an emulator in those categories. Um, I'm not gonna judge you if you are, I get it. But it's very nice. I actually really like it. I, I've used it for Game Boy uh, for Game Boy Color. I've used it for PlayStation 1. I've used it for NES. I use it for SNES. Like, it, it's just a really good uh, emulator. And if you want an alternative to this style of emulator, uh, you can always look up uh, something called RetroArch. RetroArch is another one of those just, it can do pretty much fucking anything, honestly. It's great. I like BizHawk. I like this one. You can do a lot with it. You know, you can do a lot with both of them. I actually have a kind of an interesting story for this video. So I wanted to highlight uh, BSNES as my go-to Super Nintendo emulator of choice. I used it before to play Super Metroid and Super Mario World and stuff like that. And it, it, it served me pretty well. Uh, however, when I went to, when, when I went to like open it up and use it for this video and everything, like I would go into my files and I'll go into Super Nintendo, I'll like just grab Earthbound and I'll drag and drop it. And I get a black screen where it just, doesn't work. So I thought, you know what? All right, sure. Maybe BSNES just isn't a good one, but I do want to highlight at least one uh, Super Nintendo emulator. So I decided, all right, I'm going to download the other one that I know of, which is uh, SNES 9X. However, when I go to open it, I get this error. Now, I can fix these errors, right? This is not uh, me saying that both of these emulators are trash and you shouldn't use them. They're both good from what I hear. Uh, it's just that I'm using this as an opportunity to sort of highlight the, I guess, struggles of emulation where you really gotta put in the effort. It, you don't need to go to school for this kind of thing. You don't need to have a background in technology. You don't need to know anything about computers to get these things running, but it's definitely, it's definitely a very good representation of Okay, so I'm just gonna try this other thing. Oh, that thing doesn't work? Okay, now I gotta try to fix this thing, and then you gotta fix another error on top of that, and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a very interesting little microcosm of the 
struggles of emulation. So these are the emulators that I use primarily. Uh, feel free to download any of them because emulator programs are are uh, legal and they're legit and you will not get into any trouble for downloading them. The only thing that uh, is legally dubious is downloading games, but I'm gonna be real, all of these consoles, all of these systems are consoles that are way out of date. They're not being manufactured anymore. The games aren't being manufactured anymore. Uh, if you have the opportunity to buy any of these games on a legitimate distribution service, highly recommend you do that before you even think about emulation. But this has been a very fun little peek into some of the emulators that I use and some of the programs that I've done. I wanted to uh, make this video as sort of a um, a guiding light, kind of, just to be like, hey, here are some other systems you can play on PC, here are some other programs you can use, here are some other little things. And then at the very end, it wrapped up nicely with a very uh, good warning about emulation. So, I think this ended up pretty good. Um, if you're one of those people who came from that one Twitter post that I made, and you really liked uh, Dolphin for Dummies and Emulators Are Special, thank you. I, I appreciate you subscribing, it really means the world to me. Um, let yourself be known, honestly. Let me know if you guys want to see more emulator content, because I am so down to make videos about like how to get Citra running, how to get Project 64 running, uh, how to get uh, how to get PCSX2 running, stuff like that. We got plenty of stuff to talk about. Is my point? Is there's plenty of uh, stuff to talk about when it comes to emulators and how to get them working and uh, showing people how it works. So hey, it's all a fun time. I just really like having this freedom to do kind of whatever I want with these programs and thankfully they exist and they let me do this kind of stuff and they'll let you do this kind of stuff also that's what it's all about right it's all about the freedom of being able to play the games that you want to how you want to when you want to very long-winded explanation for this kind of thing I just wanted an excuse to talk about emulators again honestly because I fucking love these things like holy shit <laughs> anyway if you've made it all the way to the end uh, I appreciate you really do because not a whole not everyone makes it to the end of the videos so uh, if you have made it to the end of the videos go ahead and uh, put in the phrase power glove at uh, the beginning or end of your comment or wherever you want to in your comment uh, if you wanted to ask me more questions about emulators feel free to go ahead and leave a comment and ask me I will answer to the best of my abilities uh, if you want to suggest a type of video that I can do on other emulators or games or whatever honestly feel free to leave a comment again because I just want to know what y'all want you know, I have the things that I want to talk about, but I also want to keep in mind what my audience wants. And so I'll try to make both us happy. <laughs> anyway, have a great day, y'all. I hope this was enlightening and I hope y'all uh, go try out some of these emulators. They're a lot of fun.